The Sony ZV-E1 is the company's latest blotting-focused camera, but it takes the concept to the high-end full-frame domain. It's a camera with the advanced selfie mix and face-to-camera technique of previous ZV models, but it shares many internals with the A7SI Lai and FX3. The ZV-E1 will be available in black or white in early April, with pre-orders commencing on March 30th. The body alone will cost roughly $2,200, while the 2860mm f4 5.6 zoom will cost around $2,500. In this video, we will be running through all the ZV-E1's key specs, lens compatibility, and the different modes that it offers. Before we get into the video, please be sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Now let's get into it. New Features The ZV-E1 has the same 12MP sensor as the A7S 3 and FS3. These are both high-spec, video-focused cameras, making them an obvious choice for a professional-grade vlogging camera. Because of this sensor, the ZV-E1 can offer UHD 4K video of up to 60 without cropping. This 3840 pixel wide clip was captured from a 4.28 pixel area. However, any mode that crops into any significant extent is really collecting less than 4K and upscaling. On the ZV-E1, there are several such modes. The camera also has the A7RV's special ad processing processor, which makes it more effective at performing the machine learning-derived algorithms that underpin several of its important features. With this camera, Sony appears to be eager to use the word AI whenever feasible. What distinguishes the ZV-E1 from Sony's previous cameras are its automated modes that aim to simplify video creation, particularly for persons trying to film and present on their own. The first is the My Image Style function, which displays on-screen controls for adjusting camera settings. These options are labeled brightness and color, rather than exposure compensation or white balance. The ZV Hold E1's focus is on creating a camera that can capture production-ready video without the operator needing to know how to operate a camera. In this perspective, many of its other forms make sense. Another button, this time on the camera's touchscreen activates the Cine Vlog mode, which places the camera in the appealing, low-contrast S-Sign tone color profile, shoots at 23.98p, and outputs at 2.35 to 1. Cinematic widescreen, cut, slotted between black bars. It's essentially a one-touch button that allows you to give the camera's output a more cinematic look without having to learn how to do it. Image stabilization options are available on the ZV-E1. There are two modes. Standard, which employs the camera's sensor shift stabilization and active, which crops in and uses both sensor shift and digital stabilization. There's also a dynamic active option that zooms in even further, allowing the digital stabilization to cover a larger area and correct larger motions. Sony has introduced a feature called framing stabilization to this earlier mode since it pinches in on the sensor and has so much freedom to shift its capture window around. This changes the crop not just to stabilize the film, but also to maintain a topic in the center of the frame. It employs the company's human pose estimation algorithm, which is based on a human movement model and has shown capable of detecting individuals in a scene even when they turn away from the camera. As a result, rather than merely compensating for your shakiness, it also compensates for your framing and composition. Finally, there is the auto framing mode. This is a related mode meant for tripod use, sees the camera crop in on a section of the picture, and follow the subject as they move around, panning and scanning to preserve composition. This mode allows a single operator to walk about within a wide-angle view with no one behind the camera. You may choose between three crop levels and change the tracking speed. There are also features that force the camera to zoom in on the topic as soon as it enters the picture. Body and Handling The ZV-E1 resembles an A7C in appearance, but without the viewfinder, is considerably smaller. It is the smallest and lightest full-frame interchangeable lens camera with in-body image stabilization, according to Sony. It's an unusual camera in terms of ergonomics. The flip-out touchscreen and on-screen interface imply it's supposed to be shot with the camera facing you, but the hand grip and button placement suggest otherwise. It is feasible to hold the camera with the lens facing you, but there is no indication in the grip design or placement of the Orisi button that this was the designer's goal. If you intend to handle the camera while presenting, a good wrist strap is a must. The body is said to feel solidly built despite being so light. A three-capsule mic array is mounted on top. Like with previous ZV versions, the camera comes with a wind-blocking adapter. Unlike earlier generations, the reception of these microphones may be modified based on where you want to collect sounds. There are front, rear, and automatic variants. If the camera is configured to identify persons and a human is in the frame, the auto mode will utilize the front focus capture. When no person is identified or subject recognition is disabled, the all mode is used instead. Battery. 
The good news is that despite the reduction in size, the ZV-E1 still has space for Sony's bigger Z's head battery. The MPFZ100 battery has a capacity of 16.4 wall. This gives the camera a rated capacity of 570 shots per charge. As is customary, most people will get double this amount. The CIPA numbers for continuous video recording duration and actual time when the camera is switched on and off are 140 and 95 minutes, respectively. The camera may be charged through USB or powered and controlled via USB. It's also UVC slash UAC compatible, which means it can be inserted into a computer as a USB device and function without the need for extra software. The ZZV E1 is the first camera we've seen to promise up to 4K slash 30 when used this way. Sony ZZV E1 is the perfect camera for up-and-coming YouTubers and aspiring videographers. It offers a range of traditional shooting modes and a few advanced modern ones. Anyway, that's all from us today, guys, on Sony's Brian the new flagship solo vlogging camera. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content like this.